Hi, and thanks for choosing Pebble Host. In today's video, we're going to be going over some basic commands that you can use in your Minecraft server. And these commands are going to be pretty much the basic ones that you may need to use in your server. And basically, just get you started. So we're going to start with the most important ones. So let's say you wanted to have a server that only your friends can join. To do this, you might want to turn on a whitelist. So in order to do this, let's first go to our Pebble Host panel. Once we're here, we're then going to go to the file manager on the left. We'll then find the server.properties file. And then in here, we're going to find two things. If you click in the document and then press Ctrl F, you can actually search in the document. So we're going to search for white. And now if we scroll down, you can see whitelist equals false is highlighted. So now we're going to change false to true. So now our whitelist is true. And if we scroll down, we can also find enforce whitelist and we're also going to change this to true as well these may be at slightly different numbers for you so just look around this file and try to find them once you've done that you can then click save now we need to restart our server so currently if we try joining the server we try loading in and as you can see it says you are not whitelisted on this server so now we need to add ourselves once our server has started back up, we're going to go back and then we're going to go to the console on the left. Once you've got to the console, we're going to go down to where it says enter a command and now we're going to add ourselves to the whitelist. So you can do whitelist, add, and then you or your friend's usernames. So my username is strange stan. So if we then put that in, as you can see, added strange stan to the whitelist. So now if we go to join the game, as you can see, we can join. So that is how you whitelist people. So next we're going to the op command. Op is short for operator and it's basically an admin and it allows them to pretty much do anything they want in the server as it gives them access to all commands. So let's go back to Pebble Host. So first we need to make ourselves an op. So where it says enter a command, we're gonna put op and then your username. And as you can see, made strange stand as server operator. So now that we're at op, if we go back into the game, if we look in the chat, you can see that I've been made a server operator as well. And now we can do stuff like change game modes. And we'll be able to do all the commands that we show later in the video. But now that we're in op, we can also make other people an op actually in the game itself. So if we were to do slash op, and then another account, so strange stand 2, they don't even have to be in the game, and you can give them op without them even being there. However, if you do plan on using a permissions plugin such as LuckPerms, we don't recommend you do give op to anyone, as you can customize the exact permissions you want to give in those plugins, as op can be very dangerous. So make sure you give op to only people that you actually trust. Okay, so now that we're in op, we can actually set our spawn. So I'm gonna find a new area, and I'm gonna set the world spawn to that location. All right, so I've now found this biome. Now I'm going to create a diamond pillar just so we can tell where we're meant to spawn. So we've now got a diamond block pillar and if we are to do the command slash set, you may notice me scrolling through these options and you can do this by pressing tab. It will speed up your command time by a lot. And then world spawn, it means that everyone's spawn point will be set around this area. They're not going to spawn in that exact block, but they will spawn around this area. So now if we do slash kill and then respawn, as you can see, we have been spawned around the diamond pillar. And this will do this for all players as well, unless they do already have a bed or something like that set. This will just be setting the new default spawn. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna show you is teleporting. Now this is teleporting between players. So first, let's get my alt in the game. Now remember, he's not whitelisted, so I need to do that now. So I'm gonna do whitelist, add. As if you're an op, you can whitelist people in the game as well. And then their username, which is alt4f. So now we've added them to the whitelist. We can go ahead and join. And now, as you can see, I have also spawned in this area around the diamond pillar. So now I'm going to move just over here, where I look out onto the water. Now this is on my alt account. As you can see, that's my main over there. And now we're on our main, and that's the alt. So we're going to do slash TP, and then we need to decide who we want to teleport to who. So if we did slash TP and then their username, it would teleport us to them. So now, as you can see, I've been teleported to them. However, if we go back to where we were, if we instead do slash TP, their username, and then a space, and then my username, if we do that, it then teleports them to us. So that is how you teleport. Okay, so next, I'm pretty sure you'll know this one already, but it's how to change game mode. You can change your game mode, and you can change other players' game modes. So currently, my alt is in survival, as as you can see, I can punch them. However, if we do the command, slash game mode, and then select the game mode you want. So I'll do creative for this. We can then put their username. And now, as you can see, I can't punch them as I've put them into creative mode myself. Now, of course, you can also change your own game mode. And you can do this with slash game mode. 
and then the game mode you want. You don't even need to put your username as it will do it for you automatically if you don't put a name. So if we do slash game mode survival, as you can see I've been set to survival and now I can pretty much take damage. And in newer versions of Minecraft, there is also if you hold F3 and then press F4, this pop-up then comes up where you can choose your game mode. So I can choose creative and my mode will be set to creative. Now finally, I'm going to show you how you can give items. So if we do slash give and then your username and then you can put Minecraft colon and then the thing you want to give yourself. So let's say we wanted to give ourselves some beetroot seeds. As you can see, the space between the words is also an underscore. So we've got our beetroot seeds, and then we want to put how many we can give ourselves. So if we try putting 9,999, as you can see, you can't give more than 6,400. Now, of course, you can also give items to other players. If we do slash give, and then their username, we could then give them, for example, some acacia doors, and we'll just give them 100 acacia doors. And as you can see, we've given them to them, and they're actually holding it in their hand as well. And if we actually look on our alt account, we can see that we have been given exactly that amount. So hopefully this video was helpful. If it was, definitely leave a like and subscribe. And hopefully, I'll see you next time.